Hi guys, it's Andy with PCE. Today we're going to be looking at the PA8300. This is a three phase power analyzer, data logger, and harmonics capabilities. This product is configurable two different ways. You can get it with the Rogowski coils, which are rated for 3000 amps, or you can get it with these standard clamps, which are rated for 1200 amps. It also comes with the probes and alligator clips, an SD card for data logging, and a power adapter, 9 volt. It also comes with a user manual and a carrying case. So one great feature about this product is it's very easy to set up. They've labeled everything for you uh, where it's very easy to know where everything goes. You can see this is V3 is going to go to the V3 port, V2, etc. is going to go to the applicable port. And on top is where your current probes are plugged in. And again, they are labeled so you really can't mess it up. A3 is going to be plugged in right here. So on the side here is where the SD card is going to go. You can just put that right in there. You also can see it's got an RS-232 port and your 9 volt power input is right here. On the rear of the unit is where the batteries are located. It comes with eight AA batteries. So you can run this thing on batteries or on your, on your power, your 9 volt power. And it's also got this great little kickstand here so you can set it up for ease of use. So I've gone ahead and set up the meter and I want to just show you guys how easy it is to set up. So here you can see all the alligator clips and probes are plugged into their respective uh, places. And this is just a standard electrical panel here, three phase, four wire, uh, 120 volt system. So you just take your probes and connect them. And also I got the Rogowski coils, as you can see here, connected to each line. And those, you just wanna make sure that you have, you select the correct uh, amperage that you want. I got it set on 300 amp. And those are all connected here. Okay, I'm gonna give a quick rundown of this meter and what the different features and capabilities are. For more in-depth information, please refer to the user manual. These blue buttons here are basically your home buttons. They're pretty self-explanatory, but this is your on off button. It takes about 20 seconds to initialize. This button is for your backlighting. This is your record button, your exit button, and your hold button. This will freeze the data on the screen. This is your setup button. This is where you will be setting up the time and date, formatting the SD card, or deleting data. You can also set the sampling time, you can set the potential and current transformers, select the current clamp types, as well as the RS-232 output selection. To get around the screen, you're going to need to select the shift button here, and you can see it says shift, and then use your arrow buttons to toggle through the menu and then you can make your adjustments accordingly. This is the power button. This will display all of the power readings that the meter is taking. It's going to include your voltages, your currents, your power factors, frequencies, phase angles, and all the numbers that you see here. Okay, this is the graphic phaser diagram key. When you select that, it's going to give you a visual representation of the phase voltages and line currents. So it's displaying on this graph the numerical values of each phase and their relationships. This is the volt and current waveform key. When you select this, you'll get a closer look at the voltage and current waveform on each phase. You can select volts, amps, or you can also see the volts and amps together. And then if you need to change between the phases, you'll select this button here. And you can see right here, it's showing you phase two, volt and amps, and then phase three.
and there's phase one. This is the transient capture button. If you're wanting to check out your system for dips, swells, and outages, after you set up your parameters on the setup page, you can just come to this page and then hit record. You see that it's recording now. And then it will record for you with time and date your dips, swells, and outages. These green buttons here are gonna be your harmonics analyzer buttons. So if you select this button, it's gonna give you a split screen and it's telling you this is your phase one voltage right here, displayed right here. This is gonna be your harmonics analyzation one through 50. So you can see this is harmonics one and it's giving you a total harmonic distortion value of 5%. It's also gonna display your peak to peak voltages. And then you can also scroll through and select different phases as shown your uh, current. There's your phase two voltage there. And to select through your harmonics, you'll use these green arrow keys. You see it changes to harmonics two, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully you found this video informative. If you have any questions about this meter or any other meters, give us a call or send us an email. We have technicians standing by. Thanks for watching.